What's up, my Chapter 2 family? It's your boy Mario coming back to you with the segment of what am I currently watching? Before we get into all the things, other things you guys know what to do, go ahead and if you have not already become a part of the Chapter 2 family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and also hit that um, comment and share this video and go ahead and hit in the comments that you have subscribe to the YouTube channel so I can give you a personal shout out and thank you for coming part of the chapter two family and for all of you that have already subscribed to the channel thank you very much I very much appreciate it and you guys want to watch me on this journey as I take on everything every day-to-day -day life taking on the business taking on trying to find a job trying to do everything you want to watch me do it all um, but before we do anything else let's go ahead and wrap this up go ahead and take it away this is what am I currently watching. So um, right now, um, we are going to be um, going over all the things that I'm currently watching. I made sure I wrote it down so I can um, let you know what am I currently watching. What am I currently watching? I'm getting all choked up um, with you guys. So this is TV shows that I'm currently watching. I'm going to do a movie one as well. But right now, we're going to do what am I currently watching. Um, so what am I currently watching right now? is um right now will be um tyler perry sisters on bet that comes on on wednesdays at um nine o'clock um i love the show i love the dynamic of the show um the show's getting interesting it always has a twist a turn just when you think sometimes the sisters get indicated getting it together then it's always another um scenario thrown in so you guys check that out that's on BET and it's Tyler Perry's sisters that's very like y'all gotta watch it it's very it has something for everything you know it's, it's about a group of sisters who you know a group of girls who become like sisters to each other they've known each other since some before colleges and some um through college and through up to life now and also they um so they they deal with all of the things that's happened between them and everything going on in life with them so you guys should check that out um they do have you know everyone usually women have a gay best friend so he is in there and his name is maurice so it has a little twist of that and it's something for my lgbt plus community i do like to be included in things i'm saying we have to be all the time but i do like to see us doing things as well so um i do like that scenario um but like i said um, i've been watching it has i think they're on their third season or fourth season now um and um but i've watched from the moment i watched it um and i had to i didn't watch the first season i had to binge watch it because it was already over but i had to binge watch it and catch myself up and ever since then i loved the show um and that was you know but well, that's it for the Tyler Perry sisters. Y'all guys, make sure y'all check that out on BET. And I believe it's on BET Plus that you, you know, it's another streaming app that you can watch things over. But it comes on on BET um, at um, 9 o'clock, you guys. So you make sure you check that out on Wednesdays. All right. So the next thing I'm watching, oh my God, this one is. It's called Woman of the Movie. It's basically a story of through Emmett Till's mother's eyes of things that happen. Um, and it's called The Woman of the Movement. Um, it just started coming on um, uh, two weeks ago. Um, and oh my God, this is like, I love things like this, but it's sad. It's sad to see that how we, uh, that we weren't even think of as human beings. We would think of as basically like dogs that our lives didn't even matter that we were treated like dogs I, mean, I don't even think we were, we were treated like bottom of a bottom of the bottom a, a gum on the bottom of some uh, of a white person's shoe we were treated like that like discarded we give the fuck about spit on spit at chewed out when he spit out when they don't need us anymore it, it's this oof this 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 is something that I think everybody should watch. It should make you watch it because you should appreciate the 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 much freedom that we have now. We still have some ways to go, but we should appreciate the much freedom that we have because that that was an awful time to be in, and that was a time that could make and break anybody at that time. That could really break somebody because that was, oof. The things I watched, the things I've seen, 
things I've heard through this mom watching this. You know, we always hear the Emmett Till story, but we never actually really, really, really in depth. Some of us have been never in depth. Like, sorry, you guys. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to piece it together and make it keep going on with it, do what it do. Um, let's go ahead and, um, like, like I said, I was, ugh, I'm all off throwing up throw, but we were talking about the woman of the movement. You guys check that out. That is definitely, um, you can rewatch it on Hulu. Um, I believe it's on ABC. It comes on ABC at 8 o'clock um, on Thursday. So please make sure you check that out. Um, it's very, very informative. It's very, it's, it's very sad as well. It's very raw. It's very real. Um, definitely check out The Woman of the Movement if y'all haven't. That is one of my top favorite things to watch right now. I love to learn things that I didn't know and, you know, you know, and I did just, you know, not to say that I love it because somebody's paying, but to love it to learn for the knowledge that it gives me. Um, I've always been a person who like history and things dealing with history and knowing those things. Um, so, yeah, definitely look at for the woman of the movie, the Emmett Till story. Y'all guys definitely check that out. It's, if you need to watch and catch up, you can go on to Hulu and catch up. Of course, Hulu has a lot of ads, but, you know, hey, you'll still be able to watch it. Um all right, the next thing I'm watching is called Naomi. It's about a a girl who becomes a superhero. She was a super a superhero, but she really didn't embrace her powers until like now, or knew about her powers until like later on in her teen life. So, um, you watch her. It's kind of almost giving me the the vibes of um, uh, what's it called, Black Lightning, and it's kind of giving me the vibes of that. But um. I really do think I might like this. It's, I only watched one episode so far, but I'm intrigued about the episode, and I liked it, and I'm very much intrigued about it. So it's going to keep me watching that. That comes on on the Tuesdays at um, 8 o'clock as well. So you guys check out Naomi. It's like a kind of super superhero, superhero type of girl type of thing like that. So you guys make sure you check that out. Um, something you maybe can watch with your kids and maybe, you know, Anyways, so the next thing is called the Scream Series. The Scream Series have been out. I don't know what the hell I've been at under a rock must be, but it's been out. I recently just ran across it on, you know, of all the things going on with the new Scream movie that came out. I haven't watched that yet. My niece watched it. She said it was great. I see a lot of reviews about the movie, and everybody says it was great. I'm definitely going to be um, soon checking that out as well and giving my review on the Scream movie as well. But I'm giving a review on the Scream Series that I guess was on MTV, and I guess I missed it didn't know um I really didn't know so um right now we're doing um I want I'm watching it on um Netflix and it has all three seasons on it and I'm uh, I've actually been watching that so that's been really really good and interesting from a different point of view a little bit more in depth of what we had like a, with the movies and stuff so just a little bit more in depth about things with the series so you guys have checked that out because that's also pretty good and I've, I've watched it on Netflix. I don't know what else you can watch it at, but all three series are on, um, all three um, seasons are on Netflix, and you can watch that on Netflix. Okay. Um, the next thing is Chicago Med. Chicago Med, we all know what Chicago Med gives is about medical things and dealing with working in the ER, and it also gives me an ER vibes that I used to watch back in the day, so it kind of gives me that vibe of watching that, so I do like, um, Chicago Med, and, um, it comes on Wednesdays at 8, and I definitely love, love Chicago Med, um, as well, and you know who I did not put in here, I just remember why I did not put my show in here, but it just made me realize, because she was on this, Yaya Dacosca, um, was on Chicago Med, and she's also on, she's basically leading lady in this particular show, um, call out kind of people. I cannot forget that. I did not put that in my list, but I just remember that. But it's Yaya the Costa, um, as on all kind of people. All kind of people kind of takes on a episode of not an episode. It kind of takes you on the journey of basically a wealthy black family and a young girl who um has um. Um, sorry, I'm trying to read something as well. It came across my phone. But anyways, a young girl who is, who's, 
the rich family dad has slept with her mother and now she's here her mother has now passed on and now she wants to know things about her father and seeing what could possibly happen to her mother and you know so stuff like that so she's going to try to introduce herself into knowing her family and getting all of the things and trying to figure out what happened to her mother and also along the way her aunt actually kind of knows some things but and has her own secrets and things to but that's a different story, you guys. It's really good. It really, really is a lot of twists and turns so to keep you on your seat. So definitely look out for um, our kind of people. I love that show. I love, 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 love that show as well. It comes on the Tuesdays as well, you guys. I think it's Tuesday at 9. If I'm not mistaken, it's either 8 or 9 it comes on on, um, on Tuesdays. So you guys definitely check that out. Um, and you also can watch it on Fox Soul. I just noticed that too. You can watch it I'm um, on Fox Soul as well, so on Tuesday, but I think it comes right on after my girl T.S. Madison, so I think you can kind of watch it, like, right after on Fox Soul, so you guys check that out. Um, moving right along, oh my god, this one right here, y'all, Yellow Jackets, I love Yellow Jacket, like, love, love Yellow Jacket, like, it is basically about a bunch of teens who... Um, we're traveling to go um, to some kind of tournament, I believe, and a plane crash. So they are left in um, basically nowhere. They're left out in the desert or woods or whatever in, in nowhere, and nobody's um, looking for them. Why nobody's looking for them? Because one of the girls, every plane has a black box. A black box was destroyed by one of the girls. So um, I'm waiting to see if that's ever going to come out on the show because it was destroyed by one of the girls. So they're left out there to defend for themselves. They're left out there to, they, after the plane crashed, they had to bury their people, you know, people that didn't make it. They had to bury them. They had to walk and find, they finally walked after a while and find that there was a, um, a like a cabin type of thing. And they start staying in this cabin now, and then everybody's getting like homesick and they're ready to leave. So everybody's trying to figure out a way to leave, and a lot of things twist and turn happen. A lot of secrets are exposed. A lot of everything happened in this film. People coming out, you know, it's just a lot of twists and turns. Yellow Jacket is really, really, really good, you buy. And it's a series that comes on Showtime, you guys, on Sundays. So you guys definitely check that out. It's really really interesting and it keeps you on your toes and then i really do like it and that reminds me i did not watch yesterday's episode so i need to go watch it um but i y'all need to watch yellow jacket yellow jacket is the t it's the t y'all um okay so that is kind of the things that i've currently watched now this is going to be um oh my god what is it this is kind of going to be like um, things that's upcoming that I'm watching. Um, Big Sky is coming back on um, um, on Netflix. Raising Dylan is um, I mean, why well, I'm saying Dylan? I keep fucking up this. Raising um, Dion. Um, you also see the likes of my uh, what's his name? Michael B. Jordan pops up in and out this particular series. He is basically the father of D um, Dion and. He has now passed on, and he's still kind of to, like, come back and try to help them deal with, because his son has magical powers, and trying to fight off different things that's happening. So, you guys, I definitely am ready for that. That's February 23rd on Netflix that that comes back. I am definitely going to be binge-watching that. Um, um, it is the all-time, my TV show that I walk from the 2000s, y'all. The Proud Family, Loud and Prouder, is coming back, you guys. Oh, my God, it is coming back. Um, it's definitely coming back. Oh, and I told y'all the wrong. Raisin Dom, Dion, um, it comes back on February 2nd, I believe. And um, The Proud Family, Loud and Prouder, comes back February 23rd. I'm sorry, you guys. So, you definitely check that out. All my 2000s. 88 babies, 2000, 99 babies, um, not 99 babies, baby. I mean, 90s babies and 88 babies. Y'all should know what that show is, and it's so you check that out. Um, that's definitely coming back. So, I'm definitely most of the cast have added some new people, so I'm definitely ready to see what this is brings. Um, if it's gonna bring what it brought back in the day, 
Um, so I'm ready to see that. <laughs> so you guys, all right, that is definitely going to wrap up. What am I currently watching, you guys? Um, like I said, if you saw me looking down, it was because I wrote down things this time that I wanted to talk about instead of trying to do it off the dome, and I really can't remember. But anyways, that's not what we're doing. We are definitely doing... Um, so I want to thank you for the second of what I'm currently watching, you guys. Check it out. If you already checked it out, know about it. Let me know in the comments that you watch some of these things and how you feel about some of these shows that I've saying. Do you feel the same way that you like it or you don't? Or what it means you don't like it or what it means you do like it? Let me know in the comments below. And anybody that has already subscribed to the YouTube channel, um, let me know in the comments that you subscribe and I'll shout you out. And before you leave out of here, go ahead and like, share, and comment on this video. Come on, you guys. Help me grow this chapter 2 family. I would greatly appreciate it as you watch me on this journey and become a YouTuber and doing all the things of the all the things of the things, you guys. Peace out, chapter 2. Y'all stay blessed. I probably thought I forgot, but I didn't forget about my girl. You know, in this segment of what am I currently watching? I forgot about my girl. What turned out with Miss T.S. Madison, baby, is a whole other separate review I'm doing for this video, honey. So right after this video, if you check this video, go ahead and check out the next video right after this. Or soon, it will be uploaded soon to the YouTube channel. Peace out, Chapter 2. Make sure y'all guys watch the video. And I appreciate everybody for watching, tuning in, subscribing, all the good things. Peace out.